US 19 South. We're clear. Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's edition of Fletch Lives Daily. James here, along with family. Jamie Lee, Jesse on their phones as usual. Being productive citizens of the community, there's Wendy. Guess where we're at today? Yeah, you're right. We are a river walk downtown Savannah. Just after Christmas, it's the day after Christmas. We are on a road trip. We are heading up to Maggie Valley and Cherokee and Pigeon Forge. We're going to try this Pigeon Forge thing again, this Dollywood thing. Uh, I don't know what the deal is. We're going to just use our rain check tickets and we're going to enjoy a trip. We're going to spend a little time in Cherokee as well as Maggie Valley and of course Dollywood. So on our way, stop, thought we'd stop into uh, Savannah, see Grandpa and uh, do the Savannah thing that we always do. So we stop downtown here, gonna buy a couple little items and have a couple brews and go from there. So stay with us on this trip. It's gonna be a fun trip as usual. Same old rig and road, it's a different day. And it's a day after Christmas, so it's kind of busy out there today. It's not real busy, but it's busy enough to piss me off. So I'm just gonna try to get through, have a couple drinks and see what happens. So stay tuned with us, Fletch Lives Daily, on this trip to Savannah and Pigeon Forge. Jesse, which way are the hot dogs? Of course, we're at Spanky's. Spanky's looking good. Quick appetizer at Spanky's. Look at these old cobblestone streets here. We'll try to come. Coming to us, Savannah candies. Old fashioned candies, taffy. Of course, this is where they make all the magic happens right here. 100 years of candy making. Look at those caramel apples. Look at those, these. Got one leaving. Check that out. Evergreen. Continue on to US 19 South. We're riding through Maggie Valley area. It's a tourist area, but we're going to be staying at the Microtel. We're almost there. Good morning, Fletch Lives Daily. James here. We are in Maggie Valley. And we are in Maggie Valley to see some sights up here. We're going to go to Cherokee today. Today's going to be the nicest day. 58 and kind of sunny. A little partly cloudy. But no rain. As you can see, it got pretty cold here last night. It's already frosted the windows. So I'm defrosting everything, making sure we're good to go. We're staying at the Microtel in Maggie Valley. So we were going to go to Dollywood, but the coaster's not running right now, and we're just not going to take a chance on it. So we have to come up again during the summer, during our road trip. We plan on doing a road trip in the summer for the amusement parks. And we'll just have to make a quick stop in Dollywood to ride the coaster. So anyway, we're going to do Cherokee, Blue Ridge Parkway, and maybe get over to Asheville to see some sights. And that's the best that we can do today. So hang out with us here on Fletch Lives Daily. Come along for the ride. So when you're going through the hollers in the mountains, you don't have a whole lot of stuff to do. Santa's Land is near Cherokee, and it's one of those Disney type of parks for the mountains. It's a fun park and zoo. This is the main entrance to Santa's Land, as you can see. Closed for the season. Ironically, Santa's Land is closed during winter. <laughs> so here's a grown-ups Disney World in Cherokee. It's called Harris Casino. Party time, baby. They got a huge motel here on the other side of this parking garage. It looks just like the one in Lake Tahoe. Look at that. This place has built up a little bit since we've been here. 
Well, it's probably 8 o'clock, 8.15. We're in Cherokee. This is the Welcome Center. It's open. Nobody's in here, but you just walk right in. It's a brand new little building. Very nice tongue and groove. Look at the beams up on the ceiling. This whole little town, it's another tourist trap. It's like Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge, but it's up in the mountains and it's a summer town. But most of this town is brand new. All this is new. The last time I came here, we went to all old stuff. This is all new. Look at this. I'm gonna get a picture with the kids by the bear. Well, that's a nice, cool little painted bear. But this town is dead. I don't know how much of this town is actually open during the winter time. In the afternoon, it might get a little busier, but for the most part, it's dead. So this is why they call the Smoky Mountains the Smoky Mountains. You see the clouds, they kind of just linger throughout the day, especially on a cold day like this. They just linger in the mountains and the foothills, and they don't go anywhere until the weather changes. So here we are, we are on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Wendy's worried that we're gonna crash because I'm holding this in my hand. But uh, we're just stopping at multiple scenic spots. Get some little pictures here and there. It is really cool looking up here. I totally recommend bringing your family on this trip sometime. You take different sections, it's a long parkway. So we are on the, the west side of Asheville. And that's about 80 miles from Cherokee where it starts all the way over to Asheville. So we're not gonna go that far today. But Cherokee is one of the areas where it starts. That's like the end of the Blue Ridge Parkway. And you just take a scenic route with the family. I think you gotta do it once in your lifetime. This is like the third time we've done it, second time. We did it a long time ago without the kids, but now we have the kids with us. And it's just something we don't wanna do with them. Hey Dad, what? you wanna tell them why we're doing this today? We're doing this because we love each other as a family. Okay, the kids have found some crystal, it's uh, frozen water. On the side of the mountain, Jamie's gonna throw it up in the up in the air. Throw it up in the air. <laughs> Good deal. Good way to destroy nature. Okay, we just hit 666 miles on this trip, and we are on the Blue Ridge Parkway. What do you do when you're bored and your kids don't want to go to Chimney Rock for the day? You come to Waynesville and you go to a craft brewery. Here you go, guys. <laughs> You bring the family to a craft brewery. You should go to a craft brewery in every cool little town that you go to. There's some good beers out there that you just haven't discovered yet. So we're going to head up to a Tipping Point. It's one of four craft beer breweries in Waynesville, which is just outside of Asheville, about 30 miles. We're going to check it out. You talk about small town USA. This is a growing small town. Bustling downtown area. This is Main Street. Uh, the business district is down about two miles. But you got all these cool little shops, still decorated as you can see. Kind of like D-Land almost. It does remind me of D-Land a little bit, doesn't it? Except mountains. <laughs> okay, we're here at Tipping Point Tavern. Let's check it out. So I got a like an Imperial Stout Lager here from a Tipping Point. Wendy, what's yours called? Let it linger. Let it linger. Let it linger. Wendy got a, like a fruity type of yeah. beverage, but they're pretty good, huh? I tell you what, this one's really good. This is one of my favorites. So, cheers. Cheers? Is it in there? No. Am I in there? You are, yeah. Cheers? Hey kids, what are you having today? Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple in a hard water for Jesse. On ice, on the rocks. Water on the rocks. Just spent 150 bucks. Moose Crossing Burlwood Gallery. Beautiful stuff from Steve. So how do you spend 250 bucks oh, in two hours and hang out at Waynesville. Oh. We're gonna head over to Mount Pisgah now just to finish up today. It's the highest point on the Blue Ridge Parkway. We're gonna try to get up there without killing each other. Let's try to make it. Gone, gone. 